where do we get to? Walk about, I've talked to you about parking solutions. Parking solutions. Oh, I know what that is. I, I looked at a property one time. I was, I was going to, uh, oh, I know what it was. <laughs> I'll be okay in a second. There was a, I drove this particular street one day, and out of the corner of my eye, I noticed this, there was a moving company on that street that had been there forever. Well, not a big moving company, but it was a moving company. It had four or five vans in the lot, and, you know, there was always people in and out of it. And, the, and, and I rolled by, and there was something wrong. And I doubled back, and there were no vans in the lot. It was like Saturday. Well, I was busy going someplace, so I kept going. And the next time I thought about it was two or three weeks later, and I zipped over there and took a look at it. And sure enough, the, the place was closed up. Now, they'd been there for all the time that I'd been in Orlando at that point. And I thought, wow, this is an old company. I wonder what happened. I got to the door, and they're a Tampa-based company. And they said on the window that they'd moved back to Tampa. They didn't say shrunk back, but that's what it was, right? They'd moved their offices to Tampa. Well, the Tampa was their main office. So uh, there was a phone number. I called and eventually got the controller, because I asked who was in charge of the, of the Orlando real estate. And I finally got the controller on the phone. And he said um, that they had no uh, that they weren't going to reopen. And I said, well, I'm Gary Tharp, I'm in the real estate business, and I was calling about the real estate part of it. And he says, oh, well, we haven't decided what we're going to do yet, but I'm sure that we're going to list it. And when we list it, we'll make sure. And I said, no, 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 you understand. I'm not a broker, or at least I'm not working as a broker today. Um, I'd, be, I'd be interested in buying it. He said, oh, well, that's very different. He said, you can send us an offer. So I went back to the office and I sat down and I thought, well, it's going to be this much, this much land. I'd probably get this kind of $4 at those days, $4 rent for it. And the building looks to be about four or 5,000 square feet. It's got some extra land that you'd put, you know, if you had trucks and things. So I'll try them out at, um, I think it's worth $400,000. I'll try them out at two seventy-five and see where he goes. So I sent him an offer for $275,000. And he calls me up on the phone. He says, well, he says, I can't give you the three months free look, because he knew the language. I can't give you a three months free look, but I can let you have 30 days to do your diligence. And we settled at 45. So I got 45 days to do my diligence. And he accepted the offer at my asking price or at my offer price of $275,000, I had to send him a $3,000 uh, deposit. And I didn't think anything more about it for a few days, and all of a sudden it was 30 days later. <laughs> I hadn't done a thing. <laughs> now, I didn't have much due diligence to do, but I did have to get... In those days, I don't think I was getting environmentals every time. Uh, so I don't know if I did that or not, but it doesn't occur to me, so I probably didn't. Um, but the most important thing I had to do, because I, you know, it, it, I'm not going to close on an empty building if I can help it, is get a tenant. I didn't have a tenant, but I had been teaching people that, in terms of getting a tenant, in an industrial tenant anyway, is probably within a few blocks of that building already. <laughs>